My class is a tool from EduBlogs that makes setting up and monitoring your student blogs easy. In this video, I'm going to explain what my class is all about and how you can get started using it. I know when I first started blogging with students, keeping track of their blogs meant opening up 25 plus tabs in your browser. But with my class, you don't have to do this. From one location in the dashboard of your class blog, you can set up your student blogs and you can do this without an email address if you wish. You can also read all your students' blog posts and you can comment on their blogs. You can moderate your students' blog posts and comments if you choose to as well. And with one click, you can change the privacy settings on your student blogs and make them public right up to password protected, depending on the needs of your school community and the purpose of your blogs. The choice is yours. Setting up my class is easy. Let's go through the three main steps to getting started. started with my class you'll need a class blog if you don't have one already simply go to edublogs.org and enter a username and password in the white box or click on sign up here you'll be asked to add a few details and you'll follow the prompts and have your blog set up in just a couple of minutes to get started with my class and student blogging, just log into the dashboard of your class blog and on the left hand side where it says my class, click on create a class. Here you'll be presented with a few different options for your student blogs. Select this is a class blog if you want your students to have their own blog or publish on the class blog. Then you can choose whether or not you want your students to publish posts on the class blog. Select no if you want your students to only publish posts on their own individual blogs. Next you'll have some moderation choices. You can select whether you want to approve all the comments on your student blogs before they're published. And for our EduBlogs Pro users, you can select whether you want to approve the posts of your students before they're published. Next, there are some privacy options. EduBlogs Pro users will be able to allow search engines to index the sites. Otherwise, you can still have a public blog that discourages search engines, or you might have only registered users able to view the blog, or even a password protected blog and you can enter the passwords there. You can select whether you want to allow all students in the class to read each other's posts using the reader tool in the dashboard of their own blog. Then you can select which teacher you would like to assign to the class. And for our Campus Press users, you'll see some other options here, like whether you would like to allow students to switch their themes or activate plugins. And there's also the option for Campus Press users to enable default blog templates. That means you can apply the same appearance and so on to all your blogs when you're setting them up. If you're happy with your settings, just press save and you can go back and change those settings at any time by logging into your dashboard and going into my class. Once you save your my class settings, you'll notice that the options underneath my class on the left hand side have changed and there are a few extra options there now. The next step is to set up student blogs. You can have your students do this themselves by going to the EduBlog sign up page, but we'll show you how the teacher can set up student blogs from the dashboard of the class blog. Simply go to my class and then create student blogs. You'll need to click on add a new student blog and then you'll have to put in a few details. The first is a username for the student. 
then you can enter a, an email address for the student or you can leave that blank. You enter a password for the student and if you use the no email option, we recommend that you write down the student's passwords in a spreadsheet to keep track of them. You can then choose a URL for your blog and this might be similar to the username that the student has and you can choose a title for the blog and the student can change this themselves if they wish. You can add another student blog if you wish or just click on create blogs. Once this is processed, you can see your student blogs list and you'll also be able to see the list of student blogs by going to my class on the left hand side of your dashboard and student blogs. From this location, you'll also be able to see all your students pending posts and pages and comments. The final step to getting my class set up is to add links to your class blog and all your student blogs on the sidebar of your class blog and all your students can add it as well. We can see here on the Harupa Hills High School Photography blog underneath where it says class blogs on the sidebar there's links to all the student blogs. Let's have a look at how to set this up. To add the class blog widget, go to Appearance on the left hand side of your dashboard and click on Widgets. From here you'll need to look for the class blog widget and then drag it over to the sidebar and position it wherever you'd like it. When you drag it over, the widget will open automatically and you can change any of the settings like the title of the widget how many blogs you'd like to display, whether or not you'd like to display just the blog name or avatars and so on. When you're happy with your settings, press save. And if you add any more student blogs to my class in the future, you can update this list by opening the widget again and pressing save. It should now appear on the sidebar of your class blog. Have fun blogging with your students and if you need any more help, visit help.edublogs.org and explore our user guide where there's lots of resources about student blogging. You can also email our support team at any time, support at edublogs.org. Good luck!